in Tashkent and we're looking forward to the next match and it will be the second bronze medal match here in the 98 kilogram contest. Alin Alexu Kurin, the big man from Romania there. Senk Ildem from Turkey. Well, he would have been one of the favourites coming in here. Forever the silver medals for Senk. But this time he's relegated to the bronze medal. And Alexuk from Romania. Well, I think he's got a bit of a height advantage. Well, I say advantage. It's yeah. only advantage if he can make it tell. The, 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 the Romanian uh, school of wrestling used to be a very strong one with uh, a lot of Bercianu, uh, Taranu, uh, and Ruzu, some very, very, very talented wrestlers. But uh, I think the the, the new Romania is, uh, is they are not that much uh, good and strong wrestler as it was in, in, in Bucharest and Poyana Brasov, by the way, it was the base for the high altitude training camps. That's a place I met uh, Ilina Stasi, Jan Siria, wow. the two very well known uh, tennis players. Tennis they legends. Were, we were there at the same time in. Uh, in, uh, in the Tatras mountains. Wow. Yeah. So let's see how, how well they are prepared. By the way, it's a traditional meet between Romania and Turkey. Yeah. They are very close countries. Well, they're still close at the scoreboard here a minute. So go, so far gone, Alan Elexuk. Well, he's certainly operating at high altitude, much the taller of the two. But the Turk, Ildem. Oh, good, 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 <laughs> a, a, a good fake who uh, mistake the, the Turkish guy. I say he go in the wind. No, no, it's a control, a hip toss, a try. The Romanian guy try hip toss, but the Turkish is very strong. In stand up position, don't bend over, don't take risk. To, uh, to have his head ahead to give that to the opponent. So now the Turkish guy we're in the floor. Let's see what the, uh, the Romanian will do on top. Will he be able to lift? Uh, <laughs> Ildem Singh trying to sneak in there. A false start. Yep. <laughs> the referee just intervenes. That's why we call it the referee's position. Yeah. Well, what again, will the referee do again, against again. the Romanian? Was going to take a caution, Alexuk, yep, he's running away here in danger of falling foul of the referee. It's uh, 98 kilos, but uh, more than 100 kilos here. In For this sure. Position, yeah. Good defence, though, from Alexuk from Romania, and he's going to need it because Ildim Senk has now got a hold. He was, of course, a silver medalist at last year's World Championships. And he would be favourite for the bronze here if he can turn this around. He's got himself onto his feet. What is no, nothing? He should do a grab line, but is uh, you know riding the leg. But you know it's in freestyle, nothing local, so nothing <laughs> possible there. Alain Alexuk of Romania trying to be aggressive there, just trying to get a hold of the upper body. Tries for that two-in-one hold, but puts himself into trouble here. Neil Dimsink doesn't capitalise, but you can guarantee that that's wearing down the energy of the big Romanian. Control the head and control the match is the Turkish mantra. Yes, he's in the, the Turkish is in control here. Even if the Romanian try to uh, make some variation on the control and the setup. The Turkish uh, stay uh, stoic and uh, don't get uh, destabilized by the simulation of attacks of the Romanian. By the way, the Romanian is stepping back 
and it's the end of the three first minute, the first period, with no points scored. Well, not much to report other than the <laughs> escape attempts yeah, from Alexuk. Two times. <laughs> lives to fight another day, but he certainly ran away a few times. You know, the, 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 the arms of the Romanian are not deep, as deep as possible engaged under the body of the Turkish, so they can, can't manoeuvre the, the upper body of the Turkish uh, trying to turn him around. Well, long and lean legs and arms for Alain Alexuk, and can he lean on here to Ildem Senk? Romania against Turkey. This is the second period, the final three minutes to try and decide the destination of the bronze medal. And the Romanian, the big man in red, he's not been a bit of an attacking force so far. It's been all about Yildim Singh. But trying now to go for it, puts himself into trouble there. Yes, yes uh, because nothing happened here. I just can mention that one of the most uh, well-known wrestler in the heavyweight class from Romania was Martinescu, was a uh, very potential wrestler. And the coaches, uh, Jan Czernia also was one of the world champion. Beautiful stylist, beautiful style in the tournament. A lot of throws at the time, you know. But if they, they didn't... The system competition was different, so... They were uh, obligated to... Uh, not to produce, but to win by a, a big, the biggest superiority over the team, or the technical superiority, to, to uh, have less uh, handicap playing during the competition. Now the system is different with the direct elimination. So uh, if they win by one point, that's enough for them. If they go the, the next bout. And here will be not that much uh, point, because we, we see that the, the score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. I think quite a lot of sweat on the brow of Ildem Senk, so the referee saying go and get yourself dried off to give a fair grip. But who will have the grasp on the bronze at the end? Ildem Senk, they're just engaging in a little bit of rough housing. Straight in there, grab the fingers on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mention any more the fingers because I, uh, I've done that for a even here. Of You've waited to the last day yeah, to stop so. talking about it. But that's your turn to talk about the fingers. <laughs> You've rubbed off on me, Daniel. <laughs> All the knowledge. But of course, the, the fingers at the beginning of the control of the down, so if they grab the fingers, they cut all the possibility to uh, progress to have a, 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 a hand control on the opponent or uh, uh, just a, head, uh, uh, a hand, hand control on the opponent, you know? That's the beginning of everything's in, in the economy. You can't grab the, the legs, you can't hold the legs, so that's the only possibility is to use your, your arms. Well, the referee raises his arms and says, passivity, and it is that point to Ildem Sink. Yeah, it's a point to, uh, uh, to uh, the Romanian, and the Turkish uh, get one point ahead and have the advantage on the referee's position, parterre. I don't and think it, I've ever seen a parterre that just happens smoothly. It's always restart, start again. Yes, yes. Because the athletes are, are very uh, concerned to uh, anticipate any action of control on the, on the hip here, on the belt. So let's see the Turkish guy trying to can oh, he stand? Yeah. He's got the strength. Can he get the throw? He's got both legs in a decent no, position. No, I don't see any way. Maybe he can grab. Yes. Well, the only thing he's done is push himself into the last 50 seconds here towards the bronze medal. I mean, so I mean, uh, attempt to have a half Nelson, quarter Nelson on the head, you know, on the neck. He just uh, go on the back. And because they are both uh, very heavy and, uh, and very tired, it's almost an impossible mission to succeed in this position. Let's see if the, oh, the Romanian doesn't look like uh, able to do anything except uh, giving up to the superiority of the Turkish guy, even if he uses his head on one side or the other side. 
Well, Ildim Senk has wrestled with the ambitions of Aleksuk from Romania and he's wrestled his way into the bronze medal position. He just has to hang on for one more second. He might be the smaller of the two, but he was the big man on the mat. You can see how hard he's had to work there. Brilliant bronze medal, exhausted, but delighted. For a world championship, you know, it's, uh, they are tough. They are tough. It's uh, 100 kilos of, uh, of muscles, not just uh, bones, muscles, not that much fat. No. They're looking fit, they're looking strong, and looking good with a bronze medal. Ildim Senk there of Turkey. Silver at the last World Championships, bronze this time. Uh, I think this is uh, yeah. his uh, last... Uh, is he oh, going to retire, perhaps, uh, the referee? The referee is retired, yes. Well, the referee, uh, as is customary, his last match. That was his last match. Ildim Senk takes the bronze medal. The referee takes the ovation of the president. He leaves a whistle in the middle of the mat. A lovely touch from and the centre referee. All the referee are around the mat here. It's uh, some uh, emotional moment. But the most emotion here for Ildim Singh, yeah. there you are doing the traditional baby celebration. And he was the big man on the mat. Alexic tried to run away. You can see in the middle of the mat, uh, the referee left. So Alexuk couldn't get onto the podium, but it was Ildim Senk. As it was symbolic, symbolic uh, action from the referee. Retiring, so leaving the whistle on the middle of the mat. And you see the congratulations for uh, the Turkish guy and the 